With both iPhoto and Aperture, you could set up a separate app as an external editor. This made it really easy to take an image out to your external editor, work on it in that app, and then bring it right back in to iPhoto or Aperture. Unfortunately, at this time, Photos for OS X doesn't have a similar feature. This is probably the biggest omission from Photos, which hopefully Apple will fix sooner rather than later. In the meantime, you can still get images out of Photos to work with them in other editing apps. It just takes a few extra steps. Let's say I want to edit this image with Pixelmator. In Photos, I'll need to go to File, Export. Here I can choose to export the current photo or the unmodified original. If I select Export this photo, any editing or changes that I've made in Photos will remain in the exported file. But it'll be saved as a new file, either JPEG, PNG, or TIFF. For the best quality, use TIFF. This photo is a RAW file, which I can see here in the Info panel. So if I export the photo, I'm going to have to change the file type, which won't give me the best flexibility when editing. So I'm going to export the unmodified original. This will basically just move the original ARW RAW file to the location that I want to export it to, which is going to be my desktop. Now I can hop into Pixelmator and edit or manipulate the image. If layers are added in Pixelmator, you'll want to save the Pixelmator file. And then get the image back into Photos by exporting it from Pixelmator. Again, to retain the most image data, use a TIFF file. Now I can just drag and drop the edited image into Photos to re-import it. It retains its date and camera information, so the image is placed into the correct moment in Photos. I can then move the file exported from Pixelmator to the trash. This is certainly not the smoothest workflow, but it will work until Apple gets around to updating Photos with the ability to work with external editors. To let Apple know that you'd like to see this change as soon as possible, contact them on the OS X feedback page, which we have a link to at themacu.com/osxfeedback. Thanks for watching.